What's going on guys? Alex here with TFL Bike and I'm really excited because we just got this big box delivered to TFL Studios uh, and there's a motorcycle in it. I've taken delivery of many motorcycles but never in a crate like this. I've never really had to put them together myself from the factory. Uh, so I have no idea how many pieces this is going to be in. Um, I don't know what we really have in store for us, but it's gonna be one hell of an unboxing. Uh, let's crack this thing open and show you our new TFL project bike, and uh, then we'll get into explaining what our plans are with this thing. So let's do this. So this is definitely not a you know major Japanese manufactured bike. It's definitely not a Honda or a Yamaha. Um, and I'm not sure if when you buy a real bike like that, if it comes saran wrapped or not, but this one did. There we go. Let's take a peek. And I guess we'll just do a little bit of box demolition here. So we can do a dramatic reveal. Look at that. Oh yeah. All right, so clearly this is a dirt bike. Uh, it's called the Hawk DLX, and it's the Amazon special, as I like to call it. This was a $2,000 dirt bike on Amazon, which is an incredible deal for a brand new motorcycle, if it works and runs and rides. Now, before you say, you know, Everyone's done that before and this isn't anything new. We know we're not the first people to order an Amazon dirt bike. Uh, we're not pretending to be either, but we haven't seen anybody really, really using these bikes. You know, you have your typical comparisons against the Japanese competition, you know, seeing if you can get it to run, seeing how to build them. We have a lot of plans for this. We're actually gonna be working with Revzilla uh, to kit this bike out with a ton of adventure parts. So we're gonna turn this from a dirt bike into an adventure bike and actually take it out on, a, on an adventure. So I'm talking saddlebags, tank bag, uh, windscreen, extended fuel tank, uh, really everything you could possibly imagine. Probably a tool kit on the back uh, to fix things when they go wrong because you know this bike is gonna break at some point. Uh, so yeah, we have a lot in store for it. Let's kind of dig around this packaging a little bit and see what it all comes with, see if we have any directions, and uh, see how much work it's gonna be to put this thing together. Hey everyone, this is Case from TFL Bike with our Ride Smarter Tip of the Month brought to you by Rider Justice. Did you know that most drivers and motorcycle riders are underinsured? This can leave them unprepared for catastrophic medical and liability expenses as a result of an accident. Ride smarter. Make sure to have a minimum of $250,000 in underinsured coverage. You also want enough liability insurance to care for a passenger that may be injured while with you. And last, if you feel the urge to get out on your bike on a nice warm day this winter, activate your insurance before you hit the road. You'd be surprised how many riders forget this step and end up paying the price. To learn more, go to riderjustice.com, the champions of biker rights. On the road, in the courtroom, and now across the country. What do you think? Is it a 10? It's a 10. Wow. All right, I've never unboxed a motorcycle before, but we're learning how to do it. it looks like just some cable ties. I feel like I just got a new HDMI cable or something. There we go, here's our front tire. So there's one part. Let's play a game. Let's count how many parts the Amazon dirt bike comes in. So here's our front wheel. We have our disc mounted already. That's pretty nice. Is this a, yep, it's a 21 inch wheel. So full proper, you know, big knobby tire up front. I don't know if you'd call this a knobby. It's, more of like an all-terrain tire in the motorcycle world. But there we go, pretty cool. I wonder how true this wheel is too. Be interesting to put it on a, on a little truing stand and see how true it actually is from the factory. And like I said, I've never unboxed a motorcycle before, but I've watched the process and this seems to be pretty standard, not just for a Chinese motorcycle, but for pretty much any motorcycle. So it comes in this kind of steel uh, crate and we're just gonna use a 10 millimeter uh, ratchet and, you know, get her all taken apart. 
I don't know where the impact gun went, otherwise I'd be using that, but that's all right. Not too many bolts, let's get it going. I say that now. Do we really not have an impact? Could you imagine if there was something wrong with the bike? We had to put this whole thing back together just to return it. All right, we got the whole cage taken off. Now we can actually start getting to the fun stuff. So let's see what we got here. This looks like a handlebar and it's all wrapped up. Let's see if I can cut this without cutting a brake line, huh? All right, so there's our bar. Looks like uh, the master cylinder is already, already on there. We have brake fluid. You can see in that window right there. Let's pull the plastic off. Here's the, the full reveal. Dropping parts already. Oh, it's a cool looking bike. It is. Looks really cool. Let's see what we've got as far as the dash goes. Looks like it's all digital, huh? Yeah, yeah. Pretty cool. So that'll mount up somewhere right there by the ignition. That's a pretty weird looking ignition. Look at that. There's like a cover on it to close it. I've never seen that before. It's like Christmas. It's better than Christmas. I never got a motorcycle on Christmas. All right, a little bit of a fairing here. So this looks like the right side. Nope, I lied. This is the left side. The right side's already on. So that's gonna go somewhere like that. That'll clean up the look of the bike. All right, keep going here. Let's keep going. I think this is probably a sensor for the speedometer. There we go. There's our uh, left control with our, our light controls, which is actually kind of weird. So normally you have your low beam and high beam. That's pretty normal. I don't know what that is. If that actually shuts your lights completely off, um, which is not something a motorcycle is supposed to do if it's street legal, but interesting. Turn signal, horn, and uh, clutch with a uh, mirror mount right there. Front caliper is already mounted to the fork right there. Here's our headlight. Kind of the front cow. So there we go, wired up already. Should be pretty easy plug and play. Seems to be a pretty basic unit. That'll go somewhere up front here. Got a fender. Wonder if this is a high or a low mount. What do you think? I'm guessing it goes right to the bottom of that triple tree. So I think it's nice. pretty, pretty cool dirt bike style fender there. Should mount up there up front. So we've got that. Got the plastic taken off of our seat here. Let's see what we've got. So two keys, that's nice. Those are some long motorcycle keys right there. That's pretty crazy. Uh, they've got this weird, kind of thing on the outside of them, which looks like it lines up with this to open and close your ignition cover for some reason, in case you don't feel like using, I guess that actually is a lock. Okay, interesting. So you can lock your, uh, your ignition shut for some reason, but it still does look like it has a steering lock. So that's pretty interesting. Key does go into the ignition. That's a good first sign, so. Some hope there. Let's take a look at our documentation. Owner's manual for the Hawk DLX EFI fuel injected motorcycle. Minimum age requirement, 16. Always wear a helmet, it could save your life. I agree with that. But it looks like this is a total owner's manual, not a build instruction guide. This is kind of how to take care of the bike, do oil changes, and how to use the bike, but nothing related to how to build it. Here's a system notice for the fuel injection system. Definitely not gonna give that a read. And then we've got a setup instructions. There we go. So it's on a CD or DVD with a nice high quality paper label stickered onto the front of it. Super high quality stuff there. I don't even think we have a DVD drive at the office. So I don't think we're gonna be using this either. I think case it's just up to you and I to figure out how this thing is gonna go together. So this is a, an exhaust guard, it looks like. Nor normally these are made out of metal. This one's plastic, so 
Uh, not sure if this is gonna melt or not. We'll have to give that a good go. Uh, so we've got that. And then, then we have the box. So let's see what comes in the box. It's gotta be a battery. Maybe some mirrors too. So that's pretty cool. Nice motocross style uh, handlebar guard or handlebar pad. I like that. Toss that in our pile of parts. There's our rear brake lever, shift lever for the left side right there. Here's a front signal. I like how these are clear housings with an orange bulb, not you know an orange lens on them. That's actually pretty cool. So we've got two of those. Let's see, let's see. Some sort of a breather hose, a random assortment of springs, screws, and washers, uh, and bolts. So we're gonna have to figure out where all those go to. Here's our mirrors. So there you go, pretty funky shape actually. Two of those for the front of the bike. I would imagine that's battery acid. So the battery's probably uh, already in the bike. And then we have to just load the battery up with this. And then finally we have a tool kit. Basically a uh, spark plug tool right there. Uh, 10, 8, 10, 12, and 14 millimeter wrenches. They're you know double-sided, so two sizes per wrench. And then a double-sided screwdriver. Phillips and Flathead. All right, so here we go. It's actually a pretty cool looking bike. I'm a little bit impressed. I didn't expect it to be, you know, this nice. I'm not saying it's a fine piece of equipment or anything, uh, but it's not as crappy as I thought it was gonna be right off the bat, so. You know, nice metal gas tank. I like the graphics on it, actually. They don't look too bad. They're actually decently thick. Uh, the gold forks are pretty cool. I like the red caps on the top of them. The ignition looks like it's a total piece of crap. We'll see how long that lasts. We may be hot wiring this bike at some point. Uh, these fork guards are really cool. I didn't expect it to come with that. So really cool fork guards up there. I like the handlebar pad too. Uh, I'm really curious to see how high this is gonna sit off the ground. Looking at it now, it looks super, super low. Um, I don't think the rear shock is connected because the, the rear wheel is just tucked all the way up there. So hopefully it sits decently high so we have some good ground clearance. Uh, come look at the exhaust. Some actually really cool coloring on the exhaust over here. So that's pretty cool. Got some nice blues and purple coming through there. And then over on this side, Case pointed this out, but the bike actually comes pre-scuffed. So that's a nice feature right there. So you get what you pay for, two grand for this bike, 250 cc's, at least we think. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do a lot of testing with this bike. Let's do a quick final part count. So let's say the bike is part one, uh, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Sure, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, 20 different parts we got to put together. We don't have a DVD drive to uh, load up that manual, but I don't think it should be too big of a deal. So, yeah, that's coming real soon. We're gonna in the next episode put this thing together, try and take it around the block for the first time, make sure it runs and rides. Uh, and then we're gonna go from there and start really building this out. We'll probably do a few tests with it before we do. And then we're gonna turn it into an adventure bike uh, and really see what an, an adventure bike on a budget can get you, you know? There's so many bikes out there that are 10, 20, $30,000 to go do an adventure on. We're gonna see how you can do it for like, you know, $3,000 maybe. So $2,000 bike and $1,000, $1,500 in parts, something like that. Let us know what you guys want to see with this bike down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to go over to tflbike.com and we'll catch you in the next one.